Hello everyone. This is the demo video of our robot Sudo, a machine learning based speech control Sudoku solving robot. So basically a robot which can solve Sudokus for you. So before we see how Sudo solves Sudokus, let's discuss about different parts of Sudo. So here we have a start screen where Sudo will show you the solve Sudokus. Here we have a camera using which Sudo will capture the images. Here we have a mic using which Sudo will take your commands. Here we have an indicator using, so basically when the indicator will be turned on, that means sudo is listening to you and when the indicator is turned off, that means sudo is currently processing your previous commands. Also in the back side, we have an inbuilt speaker which gives sudo the speaking abilities. And in the base of it, we have a Raspberry Pi 4 which is basically doing all the processing. Also we have a, this is basically a Raspberry Pi camera. So this is all about the parts, different parts of sudo. Now let's see how sudo solves the sudo. Sudo, please give a intro. Hello, I'm Sudo. A Sudoku solving robot made my heart lift. Just show me a Sudoku, I will solve it for you. Sudo, start solving Sudoku. So as you can see, it has started the video stream. Uh, now we can simply hold the Sudoku in front of it, and it can give it a we can give it a command that uh, take the image and analyze it, and then it will start processing it. So for the very first example, I am going to use this Sudoku as you can see here. This is a web generated Sudoku, and I have just printed it. So I will hold it in front of it. Sudo capture. So as you can see, it has captured the image. I have recognized the Sudoku and now I am solving it. So as you can see, now it has recognized it correctly and now it's trying to solve it. Now here it is basically using an algorithm called backtracking. Now here we are, it is basically solving it and also showing it in the screen. That's why the solving process is little slow because it has to draw it over the screen. But if we instead of drawing, if it just solves it, in that case, it will be in very few less seconds. Uh, but here I also wanted to show you how it is solving, how the backtracking process actually works. So that's why it is solving it and also showing it how it is processing the whole solution. And within very few seconds, it is going to completely solve it and it will show you the solution. I have solved the Sudoku. So as you can see, it has solved the Sudoku. And after solving the Sudoku, it is going to show it like this. Now we can try some other examples also. Sudo, thank you. So as you can see, now it is ready for our next Sudoku. So as our next example, we are going to use uh, this Sudoku puzzle. Sudo capture. I have recognized the Sudoku and now I am solving it. I have solved the Sudoku. So as you can see, this time it was a easier Sudoku, so you just solve it within very less amount of time. Sudo, thank you. Okay, so as the very last example, I am going to use this Sudoku and I'm going to use it from my phone as you can see here. So let me hold it. Sudo capture. I have recognized the Sudoku and now I am solving it. I have solved the Sudoku. So as you can see, uh, it has solved it within few seconds and in this way it can solve Sudoku's from like phone, uh, laptop, they, they have this kind of screens also. Okay guys, so this is how Sudo basically works and using this same robot we can also build some other things because it has Raspberry Pi 4 which has a very good processing power. So many other computer vision based things we can build with the same robot and maybe in future I'll do that. And regarding this sudo and this sudoku solver, all the codes I have used, those are available in my GitHub repo. 
and I will put the link of the repo in the description of the video. Also, uh, I will very soon I am going to write a whole article on how we, if you are planning to build it step by step, which uh, whichever like uh, components I have used, how to attach them, and how to uh, learn the code, and actually how the code is working. So all those things I will write in an article. And also, if you need a video on the whole thing, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'll do that in future too. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for future videos and future projects.